Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Live from the studios of Channel 31 Melbourne, it's now time for some very fishy news. <laughs> and welcome back to Talking Fishing, a big show coming your way tonight, I tell you what. Uh, we're joined by the Minister for Agriculture, also responsible for fisheries, I like to say, yes. Jala Pulford. Uh, we want to try and touch on the AGL gas plant. We want to try and touch on Gippsland Lakes, but it is time for fisheries news. Oh, I don't even know what the news is tonight, but uh, you've got some news. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, after you put me in my wetsuit on the telly, <laughs> I could take this somewhere else, but I won't. <laughs> I won't, no. Um, well, uh, as uh, as your, uh, your viewers uh, might well know, um, we got a state election in a little less than eight weeks, and yeah. we've been working really hard on all the things that we promised last time, and had a little bit of news about what it is that we'd like to... Um, you know, put Do to next time. Put, yeah, put put mm. to the Victorian community for their judgment mm. and hopefully their support, so we can continue our um, you know great program of activity all over the yep. state and fishing. So um, you know how we've been taking our stocking pretty seriously. Absolutely. Uh, promised to get fish stocking up to five million. Yep. Smashed through that record. Got mm. it up to six million. Uh, and the Snobs Creek uh, team are doing a fantastic job. About one point seven million. Um, but mm. the native fish, we're buying a lot of them in. Mm. We thought we'd mm. like to put an end to that. Uh, and so a re-elected Andrews government uh, will commit $7 million to establish a new hatchery, native fish, wow. um, mm. location uh, precisely to be determined, but somewhere in the Shepparton area. Wow. Very good. Unreal. Hatchery that, in the backyard. That's big news. <laughs> that is, <laughs> that is awesome. big news. Heard it first on Talking Fishing. Wow. There you go. Um, Charlie, you, you and I have been talking about this. Yeah. Oh, I, we've spoken about it on the, yeah. on the show yeah, too. Yeah. Because... All this money goes to New South Wales, yeah. Yeah, we don't and, want that. and it's and yeah, it's a difference. risk. Um, and I, and I might I might just precursor this. I must declare I'm the chairman of the Snobs Creek Board, yep. and one of the things that we've said as a board is this is this is risky because mm. we're buying all these fish, fish from New South Wales. Some of the hatcheries are being sold to yes. other parties that want to grow out the fish and send them overseas for human consumption. This actually yeah. puts you, you know the five million or the six million at real risk of not being able to get them. So mm. to produce our own, which I know takes a lot of investment, yep. that is big news. Yeah, big news. So we've got, you know, we've got that fantastic asset there at Snobs Creek, which is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we want to take our commitment to fish stocking to the next level. Um, you know, we'll have a bit more to say over the next little while about our plans yeah. for fisheries and for fishing in Victoria. Um, we've been working really hard on that big long list and I know yeah. you, you hold us to account and oh, everyone we got the list coming up later on, I can tell you. The checklist. The list. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so we're, um, you know, we're wow. very keen to continue the effort in fisheries mm. and making Victoria yep. the best place really anywhere mm. um, for fishing, uh, but yeah, uh, so taking our d own destiny in in, yeah, in our, our own hands, in our own yeah. hands yeah, yeah. and in our own control yeah. is really important. So native fish um, uh, somewhere in the Shepparton area. Um, yeah. It's the right climate. It's also mm. got you know all of those important transport links to be moving them around mm. all the places yeah. we do, as we do. Um, but really, yeah, uh, very so, um, very exciting, and I'm very pleased to share it with that you. Is so right. yeah, yeah. It's great. It's, uh, it really is fantastic news as far as probably you know some employment and, and opportunities within Shepparton, Jalla, yeah. which is very much appreciated. Now, can we look at the the, the water and its, its climate as far as temperature and all that type of thing? As far as I think Snobs Creek was set up as a salmonoid type of hatchery, mm -hmm. so bring it down to um, the Shepparton area. Is there any any um, numbers you'd like to put on, sort of like a, a figure that you'd like to put on the native hatchery down there? Is well, ultimately, we'd years? like to replace what we're buying in. The starters, yeah. Um, but mm. um, warmer climate yeah. species like Murray cod, golden yep. perch. That's the idea. Yeah. Yep, yeah. and we'll work with the advisory committee and we'll yeah. you know, work with rec fishers I mean, yeah. around. Some of the things we've got to put in for a part time job. Yeah. Sorry? So I'll put in for a part time job. Building it in your backyard, mate. You, yeah. you yeah. could be the <laughs> Shepparton yeah. Fish Hatchery. PR officer or something. That's right. You do ads or something. Yeah. Oh, no. you pretty got a, you got a bit of a reputation <laughs> in Shepparton for doing ads. In all seriousness, though, just let's just um, talk about this too. The Snobs Creek Hatchery, like you said, was mm. was designed to do salmonids. Yep. It's seventy years old. Yeah. And if you go up there, and look, I mean, it's open once or twice a year as an open day. Mm -hmm. And if people have been up there, they would see it's it's like um, I don't know, ads. Have you been to the Oh, you have, Charlie, the salmon mm. ponds in Tasmania, yeah. Yeah, which yeah, is we, where we the trout there. eggs were first brought from England. And it's it's an historical place. Yeah. Snobs Creek is Victoria's piece of history. It's 70 years old. Mm. And it's actually, and congratulations to Steve and the team, because they're mm. operating it at capacity mm -hmm. at the highest it's ever been. Yeah. 
and they're producing all these Murray cod out of their natural yeah. area. Yeah. It's yeah, challenging. No, they cold, they, they, do, they yeah. do an amazing job. Yeah. They really do. Um, but having this additional asset oh. um, available mm. to the fisheries team is yeah. going to be a game changer. It's going to be so exciting. Well, Jala, what you've just announced, yes. I, I, I would say, is setting Victoria up for the next century. Well, because you had this thing we've built had in a yeah. lot of decades out of True. Snobs Creek, and yeah. Snobs yeah. Creek's still got yeah. a really good future. There's been, yeah. you know, think, continued is, investment there. Does that add up? You're good on and off over the years, but yeah, this is 1948. Is I think Snobs Creek was built. What was so the you, opening day like, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the things you have to put up with from these young blokes. 1948 it was built. Yeah. And so you imagine, you know, building something now. Mm. Like that thing's lasted 70 years. Yeah. You've, you've set Victoria up for 100 years at and, least. And, it, and it's, not like, it's not like sn Snobs is struggling to the point where it's too old and you've got to shut it down. It's no, got, no. It's got forever to go. Like yeah, it's yeah. 70 years yes. young. Yeah. But and, it will go back to concentrating on what it was designed that's for. That's right. Which is exactly really, right. really good. Yeah, so. And Snobs is going gangbusters and yeah. the team who work there, they're so committed to what they do. And, you know, you see those trucks everywhere you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that's right. You know, yeah. delivering, you know, yeah. delivering the other fish really good to every waterway. This is going to be... Yeah. Something else. The though. other good thing is that's not that much difference between, uh, like, distance from Shepparton no, to Eildon. So because you know trucks are going to be sharing between yeah. the two facilities, it's it mm. needed to be close. Yeah, no, we've yep. thought yeah. a bit yeah, about yeah. where's the good, mm. where's the best that spot for it. That is and awesome I think news. There you go. We'll find you know we'll find yeah. the, the yeah. perfect spot, but yep. we'll be looking mm. in the Shepparton area. In that area. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, excellent news. You heard it first on Talking Fishing. Talking Fishing.